I've just noticed the line of my nose is a little wrong up here so I just want to improve that slightly which didn't work all that well let's uh I think it's a it's a touch better than it was But I can use a slightly lighter version of that colour I just put down to just refine the jawline a little further. And in fact, that could do with almost being um, or, or being considerably darker and much closer to blue. And, you know, we're reasonably close to completion now. I need to add a little highlight on the nose, improve the shape of the ear and uh, improve the structure here and perhaps a little warmth on some of the highlights. And then I think I'm be, I'll be pretty much done. OK, well, I did a little extra work on the shirt, adding some shadows and a few of the stripes. Quite happy with that. I tidied up the line of the ear and the hairline and I also added just a few flashes and touches of orange in the hair and around the face to warm things up a bit. I thought I was close to completion. I still am, but I do have a few other things that I want to fix. So I'm going to put a touch of pale green in here on that right cheek. And then I'm also going to use that same colour down here. And it's not quite the right colour, but I'm going to put some in there as well. And then I think I can use some of that same colour under this eye on the left and a little touch here too. So I'm kind of going back to where I was right at the beginning where I'm putting a bit more green into the face at, at this stage. Next I'm taking a very pale pinky purple. I just want to soften some of the blue that I've got in this shadow on the left hand side here. And again, I can use some of that in under this eye. A little here as well. And a little bit there also. I think I can also pop a little bit here up under the brow and under this one on the left side here too and on the side of the nose there so that's worked reasonably well Next, I've taken some of the white with the merest hint of blue in it. And what I'm going to do, having just moistened the surface of the painting, just going to put in a little, almost like a glaze of that highlight colour to try and create or enhance the sense of light that's catching the left side of my face. I 
and continue that down onto the neck here. Now I mixed a bit of burnt umber into that same colour and I've, I've just switched to my filbert and I just want to add a little line there to indicate where the, the bridge going over the nose joins onto that lens. And then I think I can also just uh, strengthen a little bit. I don't want to go too mad but, because I quite like the minimal approach I've taken with the glasses. We just strengthen the presence of that arm there. Next, a few more little details are needed in the eye. So I switched to a small round brush and just picked up some of the pale pink that I had on my palette. I'm going to put some of that pale pink into the white of the eye there and we'll do the same on this one and then I need to mix up a slightly darker version of that so I'm just adding a little bit of alizarin to the mixture and just a touch of blue same little round brush and I can bring a little touch of that in there And then also in the corner of this eye. And now I just need to put in uh, a bit more of a, a hint of the eyelashes. So this is uh, the ultramarine blue mixed up with a little bit of alizarin. And then while I've got that on the brush, I'm just going to see if I can use that elsewhere. And I think I can put a little touch here in the nostril and in the corner of the mouth here as well. On the left, in fact, that can extend a little bit. Put a little bit on the other corner. I think that's improved the face uh, quite a bit. I could perhaps even put a little touch here. And here above the eye, a little touch on the eyebrow perhaps. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, no, I prefer it without. Let's uh, soften that. Okay, so I think I just need to do the neck now and perhaps a little more round the mouth. So I picked my favourite painting from season one of Portrait Artist of the Week, Dame Mary Beard. And then I picked from my paintings of season two, the one that was most in keeping with that first painting in terms of style and also one of my favourites. So that was Nihal. And then obviously I sent myself portrait in as well and waited for the reply. And here's the letter I got back. So, dear artist, thank you for your application to Portrait Artist of the Year Series 8. The number of applications this year has skyrocketed and the judges faced an agonising choice between portraits of an exceptionally high quality. They've now taken into consideration all the applications and have selected the 72 artists who will go through to the heats. We regret to inform you that on this occasion your application has not been successful. We really appreciate you taking the time and effort to enter our competition and offer our commiserations 
that you've not been shortlisted this time. Sadly, this year, because of COVID-19 related restrictions, we're not able to have an audience at Battersea Arts Centre for the heats. But we thank you for your interest and support of Sky Arts Portrait Artist of the Year. Best wishes, the Portrait Artist team. So didn't get in, but still really pleased that I applied because my style of portrait artist, sorry, my style of portrait painting has really kind of evolved over these last few months, this last year since I entered last time. And, you know, in hindsight, although the three paintings I put in were representative of my art over this last year, you know, there must have been thousands of people who had, who did Portrait Artist of the Week and then sent in pictures of those same small group of celebrities just like I did. So if I was the judges, I would probably be getting pretty tired of seeing the same 18 faces over and over again, you know, no matter how well or, or you know, differently they're painted. So for next year, if I enter, and I certainly plan to, I'm going to try and come up with something, you know, much more unique for the three portraits that I put in. So there we go. That's that little journey uh, completed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.